Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Did you know that there is a hidden setting in Topaz Labs Photo AI that I believe if you have turned on will help you in some instances get a better edit when using Photo AI. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, we're going to be using Photo AI as a plugin in Lightroom, but what I'm going to show you is equally true if you use it as a standalone app or as a plugin in Photoshop. We're going to be working on this image. As you can see, it is a Nikon RAW file. There is a considerable amount of noise because it was shot at an ISO of 6400. Also, it's a tiny bit soft as well. Now, I mentioned this unedited RAW file. I'm just going to send it directly from Lightroom into Photo AI. Now, there's two different ways to do that. The one way is the more common way. You just right click right on the image, go down to edit in and over and down to Photo AI. I recommend you don't do it this way because if you do it this way, you'll be sending over a TIFF file and Photo AI works best on RAW files. So we want to send a RAW file to it. And to do that, what you need to do is go up to File, then down to Plugin Extras, then over and down to the very bottom, Process with Topaz Photo AI. When you do it this way, it won't send the original Nikon RAW file because Lightroom's non-destructive. It's not going to damage that file at all. It's going to send a DNG file, which is still a RAW file. When you open the DNG file up into Photo AI, Photo AI has something called Autopilot. It's automatically going to examine the image and determine what is needed. In this case, it determined that it just needed to remove noise. And it did a good job. If I click before, after, there's before, and there's after. So it did a great job. But if you look closely, it really sharpened the image too. You can see the monkey's head, the shoulder, the hind end. There's a lot of sharpening there, and I don't really like the sharpening it did, but it didn't use the sharpen section of the image quality section of the right panel. It, what it did do, if I roll open raw remove noise, you can see that there's a detail slider. It pushed that up pretty high to 73. So I don't like what it did, so I'm gonna pull that down. Let it re-render, and whenever you do an adjustments, adjust, an adjustment, or if you move the image a little bit on the screen, it's always ha it always has to re-render. So, okay, now the noise removed is great, but it's still soft. So we want to use sharpen for that. So I'm going to stray more from the autopilot settings and turn on the sharpen section. Now you'll notice here there are here. Why don't we move that? There we go. You'll notice here that there are two models, the standard and strong model. The standard model has two sliders, strength and clarity. Also below that, you can see subject only that is turned on. And if I hover over it, you can see you get a red overlay of what it considers the subject to be. In this case, the branch, the monkey is standing on and the monkey itself. And that's fine. I like that. So that's the standard model. Let's go to the strong model. And you can see there's a single slider for that strength. And again, we have that subject only uh, switch. Now this is okay, but if you're familiar with Topaz Labs Sharpen AI, you know that there's a ton of different models in Sharpen AI. If you're a longtime user of Photo AI, you know that in the past, there used to be a lens blur and a motion blur model inside of Topaz Labs Photo AI. Well, there is actually a hidden setting that will allow you to get those back. To get them back, go up to, if you have a Mac, to the Topaz Photo AI menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Go to Preferences. Just scroll down a bit. You can see where it says Legacy Models. Legacy Models are hidden. By default, they'll be hidden. Just turn it on. Now it's telling you they'll never be recommended by Autopilot. So be aware of that. Autopilot will never choose Lens Blur or Motion Blur. But... Um, you can then, if you have this on, select them manually. So we'll do that. Click Save. Now you can see we have the standard and strong models. We have a lens blur model and a motion blur model. Click on lens blur. You have two sliders for that, strength and clarity. Again, you have to wait for it to render. And once it renders, you'll see that it's sharpened, but maybe a little bit over sharpened. I could come in and move strength down and try, you know, whatever. But let's just go to motion blur, see what that looks like. Again, you have to wait for that to render. Now, I'm not going to take the time in this video to carefully move the sliders so I get the most perfect sharpening possible. The 
point of this video is to point out to you that you have these two models available. You just have to unhide them. So that's that. And this looks over sharpened as well. So we'll pull this in and pull this up. Just do this real quick and see how this looks. And if it looks decent, I'll just call it a day. Okay, it looks decent. And the noise is perfectly removed as well. So when you're done, just go to Save to Adobe Lightroom Classic. And it will now apply those adjustments to the DNG RAW file. And now you'll have two files in Lightroom. You'll have the original, in this case, a Nikon RAW file, which is untouched. And you'll have this new DNG RAW file that will have all the settings from the Nikon RAW file, except it will also have the settings that were done by Photo AI in that it removed the noise and it, in this case, sharpened it a bit. Now, this is the original uh, Nikon RAW file. If I zoom in on the monkey's face, see all the noise and everything there. If I go over to the DNG file, you can see it still is over sharpened. I didn't do a good job. But again, the main gist of this video is to just to show you that those two models are available in Photo AI and how to make them appear. So that's that. But you can see it did a great job removing the noise. So that's it for this video. Thank you. Everyone who watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.